Join us now for Let's Just Talk with Katherine Raker. This is Katherine Raker of Let's Just Talk TV. Have we finally entered the age of personal home robots? You know, we're going to see how artificial intelligence is making its way into the mainstream with cutting edge robots that seek to be your best friend, your new best friend. Dr. Cynthia Brazil, Associate Professor of Media Arts and Sciences at Massachusetts Institute of Technology globally renowned pioneer in social robotics and human-robot interaction, founder and chief and scientist of Jibo Incorporated, is our guest today on Let's Just Talk TV. Welcome to our, actually our radio and television show. Doctor, how are you today? I'm great. It's great to be here, Catherine. Well, you know, I have a robot that cleans my floors, right? And he sometimes can have an attitude, right? <laughs> what were you looking to achieving by creating Jibo? And how long did it take you to do it, doctor? Yeah, doctor? So, so I can tell you, you know, I saw Star Wars as a child. That was like 40 years ago. And of course, I fell in love with R2-D2 and C-3PO. And now we have Jibo. Jibo's a reality. He's on market today. And when I think about the difference of a robot versus a smart device, Jibo's a helpful companion. So it's more like if your family pet got really smart and could talk and could actually do some useful stuff for you. And can you tell us a little bit about the technology this robot uses, i.e. natural language understanding and maybe speech and facial recognition? That's right, that's right. So Jibo is a social robot so he's really about interacting and helping people. So he can learn to recognize you by face and voice. He can learn your name. He can personalize to you over time. And um, he can turn to look at me. He has two cameras to do that. Uh, he has six microphones in his head to be able to orient to my voice. Um, you can see he has this beautiful movement. Can, can I show you how he dances? <laughs> and what, tell me what a social robot actually is going to do for me. And is he going to be really my new best friend? As you can see, first of all, he, he can dance. He's really fun and he's entertaining. He's really helpful, so we can answer useful questions for you. Like, uh, hey, Jibo, do I need an umbrella today? And you're going to, you're going to give us, you're giving us a live demonstration. demonstration. So he just did a beautiful waltz to show you how he, he can dance and move. People love that. It's one of the first things they want to show off. Uh, I can ask him about the weather in a really natural way. So like I just asked him, do I need an umbrella? Um, he can tell you news, he can tell you weather. Um, he can set an alarm for the morning. We have uh, an IFT integration so he can control your lights. He can even help you find your phone. Uh, my kids love him for sports. My kids love him uh, to ask him about weird words. Hey Jibo, tell me a weird word. I've got one, snickersnee. It means to fight with knives. Snickersnee. <laughs> so he's full of useful information. He can do unit conversions when I'm cooking in the kitchen. He can set timers. He's also the family photographer, so I know the holidays are coming up. Now, before Jibo, I was the family photographer, which of course means I'm not in any of the pictures with the kids, and it drove me nuts. But now Jibo, because he can find faces he can turn, I can have Jibo take the pictures so I can stay in the action and in the family moment. And this is so important for me when I think about technology in the home. I don't want to compete against technology for my family's attention. With Jibo, I can stay in the family moment. He does what I ask him to. It just creates a much warmer, more inclusive, more inviting experience of technology in the home. So he's actually more personal than Siri or some of the other technology that we already have in our phones, am I correct? Right, so Jibo can learn to recognize you, he'll personalize to you over time. And honestly, I just love when I come down in the morning, he greets me and he does his little happy dance. It's just, it's just a very different experience of technology in the home. 
<laughs> it sounds like my cat used to be in a sense, and I don't mean it any way just derogatory or not, but he sounds like he's the person that's going to cheer me up in the morning and get me rocking because of all the work I have to do. You know what I mean? And that's kind of actually the interaction, you know, that you kind of want in the morning because I'm not a morning person. So I need somebody to, you know, once you're, what, because I have an office in my home, which makes it nice, and my TV stuff in my home. So I have to drag myself out of bed. If I had somebody like that to help me in the morning, even though my husband wakes me up and all that jazz, I go right back to sleep, right, for at least a half an hour. So who is this robot perfect for? about Jibo is that people of all ages really love him. So, of course, kids love him. My boys... They always interact with him. They learn new things from him. I'm really excited about a future skill coming on Jibo, which is to help them learn how to program, which as a mom, I think is really terrific. You know, for me, as you said, like a busy professional, a busy mom, he helps me get going in the morning with the information I need. I love that he can take pictures so I can stay in the moment. You know, and even for older people, we've heard a lot of resonance around the fact that he is a warm, friendly technology. So I like to say he's not just user friendly, he's actually friendly. And we've had people say how, you know, if they're living alone, for instance, having Jibo there someone he could, they can talk to, they don't feel alone even though they may be living alone. So um, again, it's just a very different relationship of technology, one that's much more humanistic and human-centered. And I think that's really important when we think about technology in our lives today. Right, because so many people are living longer. I can see this with the aging um, and actually being a friend to them and being able to do different things for them that they may not be able to do or not want to do. And he can encourage them to do it, like taking your medicine or whatever you need. And you can program all that, can't you? The first of his kind is the very beginning of his development, but absolutely over time he's going to do more and more. And we definitely see something for everyone on you know, how AI can really help you in the home in a really meaningful way. So we're very, very excited about Jibo. He was actually just recently named uh, one of Time Magazine's 25 Best Inventions of 2017. So we're super excited oh, about wow. that. Yeah. Are you going to be at the, um, at the International Housewares Show this year? Be at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, in January. Oh, that's exciting. That's going to be really exciting. Um, how does he, the Jibo, benefit the home? Because there's so many people, you know, the robot that I have for my floor sometimes can drive me crazy because it bumps into the wall. So can he tell the other robot something or is that going to happen eventually? So Jibo is a, he's an internet connected, Wi-Fi connected device. So certainly now there's more uh, Wi-Fi connected hubs that something like Jibo could absolutely be able to communicate to other internet uh, devices. So already I mentioned through IFT, for instance, he can control your smart lights, uh, he can find your phone, he can do things like if you have a smart, smart door lock, he can lock the door for you. So already there's mm -hmm. the ability to be able to have the robot interact with the other Wi-Fi smart connected things in your home. And we fully anticipate that over time that will continue just to grow and get more richer and more capable. I can see that over time. If this is going to be, is this expected to be the hottest item for the holidays? It's going to be very, very popular. And I think certainly being on the cover of Time uh, doesn't hurt. <laughs> but uh, we're going to have some great specials for Cyber Monday. So if people want to go to jibo.com, that's J-I-B-O.com, they can start looking Sunday night and on Cyber Monday. So is everybody going to be able to afford it? You know, I, he's less than an iPhone 10, right? He's like the price of like a high-end tablet, and so many millions and millions of people have these devices. That would be affordable for me, doctor. I could handle that, and I'm a gadget girl. So yeah. anything new that comes out, especially I want to train him to teach me how to do certain things, you know, with my new technology on my computer. Is he going to be able to do that for me? I think, you know, he's a platform, which means 30-party developers can create all kinds of new skills for him. So I think, you know, it's going to be really fantastic, exciting to see all the new things he's going to be able to do over time. Well, I can't thank you enough for inventing this and being part of it. And you're right in Massachusetts, and I want to come and see you, if that's all right, and do another television show with you. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really exciting. What, 
You know, I'm one of these wild 73-year-olds that absolutely love, loves love inventions and technology. So this makes it even better for me to ask for what I want for Christmas this year. I want to thank you for joining us uh, today on Katherine Raker's Let's Just Talk TV and Radio. And give that website out one more time, please, doctor. It's gibo.com, J-I-B-O.com. Thank you.
And thank you so much. And we'll be right back um, on Catherine Raker's Let's Just Talk TV and Radio. Yes. Great. Oh, my God.